What's going on boys? It's your boy Gold Sniper and I am back with a brand new video for all of you lovely people out there. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to play Saints Row 1, the original Saints Row from 2006 on PC. If that does sound like something you are interested in learning how to do, make sure you guys do stay tuned and watch the whole entire video until the end. And you guys can also use the chapters down in the description below to help you guys guide through this. With that out of the way, let's dive straight into this. The first thing what you are going to want to do is make sure you have Discord. Because if you have Discord, it is going to make this a lot easier. If you don't have Discord, this might make it a lot more harder. So first things first, once you are on Discord, what you want to do is head down to the description of this video. Click the invite link I will have for you guys, which will take you guys to my server. You are going to want to sell me your soul by hitting this little green check mark. Then going over down here to roles. And then you are going to want to just simply say that you are on PC. Once you've done those two simple things, head over to the bot command and then it's simply type slash saints. Once you have done the following, you will see that I have a custom command already ready for you guys. All you want to do is just simply hit enter. Once you do hit enter, you are going to see that there are going to very much be three files you are going to need to download. Well, essentially two. One is optional. And the first one you are going to want to download is going to be Nzidia. And really quick, I did realize this while I was editing. I didn't explain these buttons down here at the bottom. So if you guys do want a video tutorial, clearly this is what that video is going to. That's what this link is going to take you to. If you just don't want to listen to my voice and you think I'm horrible at explaining how to do this, there's a text tutorial. And if you just want to download all these package files at once, you guys can do this just as a packet. I put them all into a Google Doc. So feel free to just download them from there. You guys can do that if you do want to. You guys won't have to go to each individual website. I just figured that'd be helpful, but let's get on with the tutorial. And once you click that link, you will be brought over to this GitHub page and the zip file that you are going to want to be downloading is going to be the first one right here. From here, just save it in whatever folder you do feel comfortable. I'm going to move mine all the way over to my downloads folder. Once it has downloaded, all you want to do is just simply right click on it, hit show in folder, simply click on it, right click, and then what you are going to want to do is extract all. If you have WinRAR, this does make this process a whole lot easier, but you guys don't really need it. Or if you have 7-Zip, that also does make it a lot easier as well, which is why I did put it in the Discord embed if you guys did need it. So once it has been extracted, you guys simply click on it. Open up the first program that you are going to see. Now this might pop up for some of you. If it does, all you guys will want to do is simply hit run anyway. The reason why this is going to pop up is because it's an unknown publisher. So that's pretty much why this happens. Simply hit run. I'm doing this on my own computer so you guys can pretty much see that this is it's okay to do this. It's not going to just instantly corrupt your game or anything like that. But you are going to have to do this process in order to play the game. Not saying you have to do this process every time, but you are going to have to do this process if you are going to be downloading it. But once you have opened this up, simply close it. That's going to create a config file that we are going to edit. We are going to open up this config file with any text editor that you guys do have. I'm personally going to use Notepad. It's not that big of an issue. Notepad is free. If you guys Notepad++, you guys can use that. Or if you have Microsoft Word, that also does work as well. Now, I know opening this text file does look scary. Do not get me wrong. I crapped my pants the first time looking at this text file. I didn't even know what to do. I just immediately crapped my pants. But don't worry. This is going to be a lot more easier. I'm going to break it down for you guys. What you are going to want to do is hit Control F. Once you guys do hit Control F, you will see that this little search bar does pop up at the top of it. Now, if you are using any other program other than Notepad, this feature might be implemented. It might not. I just honestly recommend using notepad so you can follow along for this tutorial. So once you do have this text bar open, all you simply are going to want to do is type in memory, but type it in the exact way you do see me typing in here. And the reason why you are going to type it in this way is because those brackets are important. Once you guys do search, it is going to take you down to this section here, which is why I do recommend you guys use notepad for this. Once you get down to this section here, all you want to do is simply change this value here from true to false. Once you've done that, hit control S, which will save the document. And then from here, you can close this down. Now for the second part, what you are going to want to do is head back over to the discord and you are going to want to download a ISO file of the original game pretty much. 
once you do click that link in the discord you are going to be taken over here once you guys do land on this page simply scroll down you will see that this box is here click on zip save it in whatever directory you guys do want to save it in it doesn't matter i recommend saving it in the same directory as we did our first folder now don't get me wrong this is 5.9 gigabytes this is going to depend on your internet if you have fast internet you guys should be able to get this done within 30 minutes if you have slow internet you guys are going to be looking at like an hour or two depending on what it is i on the other hand unfortunately am uploading two other videos while we do this so i will see you guys in maybe about an hour and once the sansro iso has finished downloading simply just head over to whatever folder it's in and keep in mind this default xe X is what you are going to want to put inside of Nzidia. So head back over to our first directory where we do have Nzidia waiting for us. Open up the application. Head over to file. Hit open. And once you do come over here to the Sansro ISO, head down to default. Hit open. And just like that baby, you are playing Sansro from 2006. That easy boys i know at the beginning of it it looks like there is a whole lot of complicated downloading stuff but the process is super easy i promise you if i wasn't making a tutorial i'd be able to do this by myself in under five minutes just by everything that i have provided in the discord so if you guys are interested make sure you guys do head over to my discord i have a link a invite link so you guys can head over here do this for yourself yes this does work with your controller you can plug your controller in and do have a dandy old time but if you are going to be using your keyboard, it is going to be going according to the Xbox 360 controller. And I believe that just the keyboard acts like a disgusting keyboard layout. It's just not worth it. So if you have an Xbox controller, PlayStation controller, feel free to plug that baby in and experience Saints Row the way it was meant to be on PC. Unfortunately, the devs just couldn't do something simple like this for us. But, you know, it is what it is. If you guys do want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure you guys do let me know down in the comment section below. I will see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.